What do you get when you combine a pug with a caterpillar? I know, it's a strange concept to imagine, but it's apparently a thing in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to draw, ink, and color pug a pillar using these easy to follow steps. Let's begin today's lesson by creating a rough sketch of the basic shapes of our character. I'm going to be sketching with this 2B pencil and using only the flat edge to make it easier to erase. Let's start on the top left side and sketch out a circle. Starting from the very top, it's going to roughly work our way down towards the bottom of our circle and then back across the right side. Now our circle doesn't have to be perfect because we'll eventually erase this out. Let's add some guidelines inside our circle. From the very top, let's move over towards the right. We're going to angle this down and across towards the left. Let's go to the left side of our circle, step up, come down and out towards the right. Now we want to start stacking our circles for the body going out towards the right side. So let's start up here, draw a slightly smaller circle than the head, going all the way around. Move over towards the right side, step over towards the left, draw that same size circle. Let's do that one more time. On the right, step in. And it will start to bring the body back around towards the left side. Let's start from the center of this circle, going up towards the right, and then back down. From the top of this circle, move over towards the left, draw another circle going in behind, going all the way around. Draw another one right beside it, just overlapping the edge. Now we're going to bring the body back over towards the right using these smaller circles. Going across the top, move over, draw another one just overlapping the edge. And go a little bit smaller on the end, and we'll add one more. Now to make our sketch a little bit easier to read, we're going to erase a portion of these lines. Let's start up here, just exposing that front circle, and we'll just work our way towards the back. Now that we have all our circles in place, let's go back to the head and draw in the eyes. We start along this line, sketch a circle going all the way around, and then back down. And leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the top edge of the muzzle. Starting underneath the left eye, start by curling this out and then down. round up the bottom and then just pull that back up towards the eye. Let's round up the cheek, going in towards the eye, going all the way around the cheek, coming down. And we'll close off the bottom, just coming down a little bit lower than the circle, and then back up on the right side. Let's go to the top of the muzzle in the center of our circle, draw a straight line coming down. Now I'll draw the edge of the mouth, coming down and then up. Let's trace the bottom of the muzzle, coming down and then back up. And then along the top, we're going to add a heart shape, going up towards the left and back in. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add in the tongue. In the center of the mouth, draw a straight angled line going across the center. And then on the left, curve the tongue going out and then down. Round up the tongue and pull that back up on the right side. Let's add two small teeth on either side with a half circle. And we'll draw the top row of teeth. Let's start right in the middle, come down and up toward the left and right side. And we'll just repeat this all the way out towards the side of the mouth. Now we're going to add a curve going above the eyes from the cheeks. So let's start on the left. We'll go up, go across, and then down. 
Let's add the ears on the side. Start from the top of the circle on the left, curl those up, come down the side, and back in towards the side of the head. Let's go all the way over towards the right, going in the opposite direction. Now let's move down and draw on the feet. We start with the one on the left. Start with a curve going out and then down towards the heel. Round out the bottom of the foot. Now there's a point on the top of each foot. We go up and pull that in. Let's round out the foot and then go back up towards the leg. Let's place the right leg on top of the body. We start up here, curve the leg going across and then back down. Round out the bottom of the foot. Now we're going to do the same thing. Add that curl going up. Round out the foot going back in towards the leg. Let's go to the next section of the body and add another leg. Starting down here, just rounding out the leg, coming down. Round out the bottom of the foot. Now we're going to take this foot and just flip it over. It's going to round out the tip of the foot. Come down and up towards the leg. Let's draw that same thing on the next section. Let's add one more leg across the back, going out and then down. Round out the bottom of the foot. Go up towards the tip and just round out the top. Let's add one more leg on the back side of the body. We start up here. This out and then down. Round up the foot. Now it's going to draw on top of the front leg. Go up towards the inside. Now that we have a rough sketch, let's go back and add a second level of detail. Let's start by adding some hair across the top of the head. Starting right in the middle, put this up and out towards the left. I'm just going to taper that back in. Go back to the center and go out towards the right. Let's add some fur across the outside of the ear. Start from the inside, put this up and out, and just pull that back in on both sides. Let's add another point, going out and down and in. And we'll curve out the bottom, coming down and out, and pull that in. Now I want to add some fur on the right side of each of these circles. Going out and down, pull that in. I'm just going to come down towards the bottom edge of the body. Let's do the same thing on the next circle. Adding the first point, second, coming down towards the leg. Once we're happy with the basic sketch, we're going to start inking this in. We're going to trace the main parts of the body using the Sharpie fine point marker. Let's start with the nose. Going all the way around. And we can readjust and modify the shape as we go. We're just working our way around the eyes. And we're going to add the edge of the pupil along the inside. Starting from the top all the way around towards the bottom. Let's add a small circle on the top left of each eye for a highlight. And then we'll fill in the bottom of the eye going around that highlight. Now we're just working our way around the muscle. bottom of the head underneath the tongue. Now we can switch to an ultra fine marker and add the finer details. Now we're going to work our way around the perimeter of the head adding some more points of fur along the way.
Now we're going to start layering in the body, starting from the left, working our way across towards the right. Again, just adding some more points of fur as we go. Just tucking the back foot in behind. I'm going back to the ultra fine point marker and adding some texture along the inside. And once we've finished our inking, we'll go back and erase our sketch lines. And just like a coloring book, we'll select our colors and start filling this in. And I'd like to start with one of the main color blocks. In this case, we'll start with the blue. And we're going to fill in the alternating sections of the body, starting with the front, with this blue. And we'll skip over to the next section. Now we're going to switch to our second color, which is this purple, to work our way around the head. And now we're going to work our way across the body, again filling in the alternating sections. I'm going to use that same purple across the feet. Let's go back to the head and fill the muzzle in with this pink. And then using that same pink across the legs. And using a darker pink will go across the tongue. Now we're going to fill the inside of the mouth with this dark red, going around the teeth and the tongue. Now to help give our character some shape, we're going to add some shadows across the bottom. Starting with this dark purple, starting along the bottom edge and just fading that up. Now adding that shadow across the bottom of the body, starting with that purple section, and then just fading that up.
And we want to do a similar thing with the blue areas. Start with the shadow along the inside of the ears and blending that out. Also casting a shadow from the head on top of the body. And as we get closer to the end, we'll tighten up our shadows and always be sure to sign your artwork. And there we have it. There's a colored drawing of Pug a Pillar. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, you might want to check out this video right over here. I had a ton of fun today and I hope you did too. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.